Can I clear my tie? Tastes as good as the original quintessential tiki cocktail. Last week we made a clear orja, and the real test is to compare it against a classic one in a true tropical classic, the Mai Tai. But just the clear orja won't cut it, so we'll clarify lime super juice as well. That means that after more than a year and a half, this derp is finally getting his wish. I'm confident you all will love this too. Because who wouldn't want a clear cocktail that's full of beautiful bold flavors? So if you're ready, it's cocktail time. The Mai Tai is popular in a lot of different bars by a lot of different people, so there are also a lot of different recipes. But at its core, the Mai Tai is a rum daisy cocktail. Rum or two for the base, orange curacao to make it a daisy, lime juice to make it fresh and orja to make it its own thing. To learn a bit about its history, I turned to two sources. The first one is Barva de Mecum, a vault of historic information and many variations of different cocktails. And the second source was a gift from one of its authors, Garrett Richard. He sent me a book titled Tropical Standard, which he wrote with Ben Schaefer, with a foreword from Dave Arnold. This is almost a course in cocktails and their history, with a collection of new and refreshed recipes for tropical drinks. But it also shows you the creative and analytic processes of how drinks are developed. For the Mai Tai, one important piece of information is all about the best rum replacement. When Victor Bergeron, aka Trader Vic, created the Mai Tai, he used Ray and Nephew 17-year-old rum, but that was soon unavailable, so he replaced it with the 15-year-old version. But then, that was unavailable as well. Trader Vic then started using two rums of complementary characters. Which one they were exactly is up to debate. Another interesting quote from the book fits this situation perfectly. Since ingredients change or disappear, it's up to you to reinterpret, not just repeat old cocktail recipes. It's now pretty standard to use a combination of rums to come close to the original taste of the Mai Tai. A blend of Jamaican rum and Martinican rum, I recall, is often said to be what Trader Week used when 17 and 15 year old Ray and Nephew rums were no longer available. But Barbara de Mecum points out several doubts about the use of rum agricole, high price being just one of them. Trader Week often wrote Dark Jamaica or Martinique rum on his rum list, and traditional rum made from molasses was far more common. So for the classic Maitai recipe, we'll use the rums suggested on this informative website. Smith & Cross Jamaica Navy Strength Rum and Ray & Nephew White Overproof Rum. As for Raja, if you're not making it yourself, but don't want to compromise on the quality, look no further than Liber & Co. They start with whole almonds that are blanched and roasted to bring out deep toasted nut flavors. Also in the mix are cane sugar, orange blossom and a touch of bitter almond oil for a distinct marzipan note that keeps that orange flavor in balance. This will make a great Mai Tai. Here's a tip from Tropical Standard for making sure your Mai Tai doesn't get over diluted. Known as the hybrid shake. Shake it with cube dice, then just serve it over crushed ice. I like to chill the large shaker and add ingredients into the smaller tin, while our glass is already chilling in the freezer. I'm starting with 1.5 oz or 45 ml of the Navy Strength Smith & Cross Jamaican Rum. To complete the rum combination, half an ounce or 15 ml of overproof Ray & Nephew white rum. This is of course Jamaican as well. For acidity, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of lime juice. Since this is the original, we're going with freshly squeezed, to balance it with sweetness. Add a tiki staple, almond rouge, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml. And for orange liqueur, half an ounce or 50 ml of Pierre Ferrand dry curacao. Since this is cocktail time, 2 drops of saline solution, to accentuate all the flavors. Before I shake the cocktail, I'll prepare the crushed ice. This is as therapeutic as it is violent. Then back to shaking. Drain the ice, add the cocktail and give it a good shake to chill and dilute. Then strain into a chill glass filled with crushed ice. Garnish with a mint sprig next to a straw. And if you want to make it a little fancy, add an orchid flower as well, optional of course. Instead of adding the spent lime half, I'll just express some lime essential oils over the top for some more citrus freshness. And that's it. This really is the unwavering king of tiki cocktails that hasn't lost a step in its popularity. Let's give it a taste to set a benchmark for our clarified version, which comes next. Cheers! You'll know you have a great Mai Tai in your hands when you get a well-balanced mix of rums, caramel, oak and banana flavors with a zesty lime kick and a sweet, nutty almond undertone. It's a refreshing and exotic sip, finishing with a subtle hint of orange liqueur, making it a timeless classic for those seeking a taste of the tropics. But can we get so many bold flavors in a clear-looking cocktail? We pulled it out before, so I don't see why not. As mentioned, we made a clear rajah last week, so today I will only go over the clarified lime super juice. And yes, it works the same for all super juices, as well as freshly squeezed citrus juice. To make it, you'll just need your super juice and agar agar. 0.2% of super juice, to be exact. I'm working with 300 ml of lime super juice, so I'll need 0.6 grams of agar agar. This needs to be hydrated in hot liquid, 
but we don't want to heat up all of the citrus juice, so measure out a quarter of your super juice, pour it into a small saucepan, add agar agar and place on a medium high heat to dissolve and incorporate agar agar fully. Keep stirring constantly until it just starts to simmer, then take it off the heat, add the rest of the juice and whisk to mix it all together. Transfer to an ice bath or into the freezer until agar agar does its thing and a soft gel forms. This will be the solid particles that will help with the clarification. Break it apart slightly with a whisk and pour over a cloth filter. As always when clarifying, wait until the clear liquid starts coming through, then transfer the filter and refilter the first part. Once filtered, you have clarified lime super juice that will last just as long as your regular super juice. It just looks cooler. And it will help make our clear Mai Tai look great as well. To keep the clear appearance but still give it enough aeration, I'll be throwing the cocktail, not shaking or stirring. That means ice and hot ice strainer into the small shaker tin and ingredients into the larger tin. I'm starting with 1.5 oz or 45 ml of Appleton Estate 12 years old rum. This time I'm using a rum agricole, half an oz or 50 ml of Clement VSOP. Next, equal parts of our clarified ingredients, 3 quarters of an oz or 22.5 ml of clarified lime super juice and the same amount of clear orja. I'll link the previous episode for how to make it. And like before, half an ounce or 50 ml of dry curacao. To finish the party and boost all the flavors, 2 drops of 20% saline solution. Then comes the throwing. Drain the ice, pour in the ingredients, then pour the cocktail back into the empty tin while moving the tins apart. Each repetition you can increase the distance between the tins, aerating the cocktail more and more, while the ice chills and dilutes in the process. After 8 to 10 throws, you should see nice frosting on the tins, meaning your cocktail is ready to be poured over a clear ice block in a low tumbler glass. Before I do, I'll add a nice cocktail time stamp on the ice. Put the cocktail down the side of the ice to preserve the stamp mark. For garnish, take a single mint leaf, release the essential oils with a nice slab and place it on the ice cube. The aroma is less minty, but this version of the Mai Tai is cleaner and crisper on the palate than the original, while retaining all of its characteristic flavors. And with today's first cocktail being one of the best Mai Tais I ever had, I'm really proud to say we actually made it even better. You should really try making this. With that, you've made it to the bottom of the glass. Post a droplet emoji in the comments to represent the clear Mai Tai we made. And a fun fact of the day, something a lot of you probably know already. The creation of the Mai Tai was actually claimed by two bartenders. Trader Vic and Don Beach both claim to be the father of this popular tiki cocktail. While Don Beach is often credited with the creation of the tiki era, his cubic cooler, which he claims was the foundation for Trader Vic's Mai Tai, is a very different drink. Along with rum, orange liqueur and lime, it also had falernum, pernod, angostura bitters and grapefruit juice. The matter was settled out of court and Trader Vic is universally known as the inventor of the original Mai Tai. Now before we end the episode, something I promised when I made the milk syrup. I'll test it every time we film to tell you about its shelf life. Yep, still good. 10 days in, as expected. With the clear Mai Tai done, I'm taking suggestions for the next cocktail you'd like to see clarified. It might take a year or two, but I'll do my best. In the meantime, here are clarified penicillin and aviation cocktails. Until next time, cheers.